Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. If you guys clicked on this one, you guys are getting a treat today. You're freaking lucky if you clicked on this video because you're about to see something that you've never seen before. I got the boat behind me right here. I'm hopping in my truck. If you guys are wondering what's in this back, what? Huh? Say hey to the vlog. What's up, Bo? <laughs> guys, we got a treat today. I mean a treat, so. I'll fill you guys in a little bit more, but if you guys are wondering what's in this backpack, I got a drone for my birthday, my birthday and Christmas. Long story short, my birthday's New Year's Eve, December 31st of December, so my parents got me a drone for my birthday and Christmas. Big shout out to them. Thank them so much for that. I've been waiting to buy one, um, but they ended up getting me one. I got it in this little backpack right here, so we're going to take it out today, but we are doing more than just that. I actually have a guy that's coming out. I'm not even gonna spoil it. Let's go ahead and hop in the truck, drop the boat in the water. You guys are gonna see some crazy stuff today. I also ended up buying myself for my birthday or Christmas, I bought myself a new camera. If you guys like the quality a lot better, let me know. It's actually the same camera I had, but it just looks so much better. The other one I had for years and there's just a bunch of problems happening with it. So I was like, you know what? I need to buy myself a new camera. So let me know about that. But if you guys are new to the channel, smash that freaking subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And also if you've been enjoying the content, pop that like button. You guys are about to see something that you've never seen before. Let's get it. So we just got to the lake here, folks. We're about to put in right now, or I'm putting in by myself. My dad's actually coming out with me, but I don't know if you guys know, but my dad has a little pontoon. He's gonna take it out here if you guys are wondering why. We got a guy that's coming out with us today that actually races drones, okay? This guy is insane, insane. You guys are about to see the best drone shots from fishing that you've ever seen. I promise you, you're about to see it today. So stay tuned. I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing while I'm out here. I actually texted the guy to see where he's at and I might stop by a little spot that's right here by the ramp and try to catch a big fish before we go and pick him up from the ramp. But this is gonna be a good one. I'm about to put it in the boat by myself. I actually ended up getting that drone like I was talking about. I might try my first ever drone shot for a fishing video right now by myself while I'm putting the boat in by myself. So that's gonna be interesting. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So boys, here is my drone right here. Beautiful little drone. My first time ever flying it is yesterday. So, but I, I feel confident with it. I don't, I feel like, I feel like I can do it. I feel like I got this. I don't, I don't have any doubt in my mind I'm not gonna be able to get this. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. I'm gonna set it at a good angle, probably like right up there. And then the boat ramp's over there and you're, you guys are gonna get to watch me like back down and that whole thing. So first we're gonna turn the drone on, one click, hold. All right, there we go. Drone is on. I'm gonna set you guys right here. All right, now let's turn the remote on. Oh man, I'm so excited, guys. If you guys wanna see more drone footage, smash that like button. All right, here we go, here goes nothing. We got it in tripod mode, I'm not going sport mode. There we go, she's about to take off. There she is, see her? I actually forgot one crucial step. I meant to put my phone in this so I can record this. <laughs> Newbie mistake, my first time. Give me a break. So this is pretty neat. So you can actually watch everything from the controller. So your phone fits right inside of this. DJI Go 4.0, drop this phone in. Let me show you guys this. I don't know how well this is going to do, but all right, as you guys can tell, that is right where the drone is pointing. It is time to fly. Right here, we're gonna hit record. Now you guys should be watching from the drone. There you go. You can see everything on the screen. All right, it's time. The drone's up there. You guys should be able to see it now. Now let's back the boat in. There you go. So you guys can probably see that a lot better. That is exactly where the drone's pointing. That's the angle that we're looking for. Drone is right up there. Now let's back her in. All right, now it's time to get her down.
with that. It was my first ever drone shot on kicking their best TV. Pretty much. Pretty much. Now I have flown. Boom. There we go, baby. Let's get it. All right. Now let's go maybe try to catch a fish. I told him to let me know he's 15 minutes out so then I can make it over to the ramp. So he hasn't texted me yet. Looks like we might have a few minutes to go try to catch a launch. All right, people. Well, long story short about uh, the drone thing. Um, so, yes, I did get a drone. You guys saw the footage. But as I said, there was going to be um, an individual meeting us out here, and some things just happened, and we sadly didn't get to do it today. Hopefully, we'll get to do it another day. But, uh, yeah, so I pretty much fished for about five minutes, went and picked him up. Some things happened, and then... Now we're fishing again. So um, I don't have too long to fish, but I'm hoping that like, maybe we could put something together. I don't know if you guys are wondering what I'm throwing. It's just a shaky head with a divine shaky head worm, um, green pumpkin blue flake by six cents. And uh, yeah, so I'm fishing a little bit of rock right here, coming back in this little pocket, hoping to see if we can see some bait down this little ditch that goes right in beneath this pocket right here. And hopefully, We'll catch a big bass. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. He's running at me. That's a big one. I can't even move him. That's a big one, guys. Like serious. <laughs> I didn't even think he was a fish when I first hooked it. Felt so big. Oh, Jesus, it's a mega. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a mega, it's a mega. First fish today, broke one off earlier. Not too long ago, I haven't been fishing that long. Freaking giant, holy cow, that's a fat guy. You're going in the live well, bud. you going in the live well, bud. Look at that girl, oh my God. Oh my God, what a fat girl. Guys, when I hooked set that fish right there, I thought I was stuck on the bottom. That's how big that thing felt. On the Divine Shaky Head Worm by Six Cents. If you guys are like 10% off, I dropped the code on the screen. It's been a while since I caught a spot that big. I caught that big one on a fish head last time I was out here. I'm gonna run a little deep. Oh my gosh. Dude, I just got hammered. I got him. I got him. Call me back. All right. Hang up. Look at that boy, he's in 50 foot of water. He ain't big. At least I don't think. Oh gosh. <laughs> what? Hold up. Oh my gosh, that's a big spot. Look at him eat that fish head. 50 foot of water, baby. 50 foot of water. Oh my god. Dude, that's a freaking slaunch of a spot, baby. What am I saying? They ain't big. He was big. But that spot right there, I think he's bigger. He ain't as fat as that other one. But he that that one's a large spot that I just caught. I gotta retie after that one. Spot lock us. I literally had to get the net on that. I was gonna boat flip it, but I, that was I haven't landed a fish today yet. <laughs> and uh I don't have that much time to fish. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, if I try to boat flip this thing and that thing breaks off, I will cry. And I'm gonna be honest with you, with how the hook is kind of frayed, he would have broke off. <laughs> and I would have been crying, bro. Oh, I would have been crying, bro. Oh, thank the Lord. So, 
These are the worms that I was using. That's the one I just caught on. It's the Divine Shaky Worm Green Pumpkin Blue, which is probably one of my favorite colors of all time. I like my three favorite colors, or I would have to say four, is like Green Pumpkin Blue, Green Pumpkin Green, um, like a Morning Dawn color, which those will all be good for clear water. And then for like dirty water, I love like a June Bug. Or like maybe like a black and blue, but I don't throw that on a shaky head. Like a June bug on a shaky head would be good. But uh, yeah, green pumpkin blue. So in the hook that I'm using, these are actually the spot removers. I wouldn't recommend using these. I'm, I'm gonna be, I've used these for years, but they bend like, <laughs> they bend like crazy. That fish was fighting so hard. It just like bent out my hook. I wasn't even from a rock or something. I'm gonna be real with you. I thought that was a freaking rock when I hooked it. That's how big that fish felt. God, I'm about to get right there. Whew. Dang, crankbait fights harder than that four pound spot. Oh my gosh, on a crankbait, big crankbait. First cast, big and oh my God. Oh, <laughs> guys, this fish giant. He ain't as big as the last one, but he's big. Oh my God. <laughs> on the big crankbait, bro. First of all, I don't know why I'm seeing bro so much. Look at that. On the C20, first cast. Literally next spot from that last. I was gonna throw the shaky head and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up this cloud nine right here. Big crankbait boys, I mean big crankbait. Dies 20 foot and boom, mega spot. That one before this is a lot bigger, but it's still a big spot. Hooks don't play no games. The fat three pounder. One thing that I gotta get a habit of doing is freaking setting my spot lock after I catch a fish. Cause I keep on ruining all these spots, which I'm gonna be honest with you. Lanier's one of them places where you, if you catch one, sometimes it's a little harder to catch another one. There's, these fish are really smart, but still it could help, you know, if there's more down there. I mean, that was first cast, dude. That, that was just very surprising. He drilled that crankbait too. And this color is so perfect for Lanier right there. Look at that beautiful color. So guys, we're about to experiment with my drone a little bit more. So just a little brief. I know you guys probably don't care about this, but this is kind of like interesting, you know, it's just something different to kind of add into the channel so you can got you guys can kind of see, you know, some of the behind the scenes stuff. So the drone is very compact. You pretty much just fold out the legs or the arms, whatever you want to call them. Oh shoot, I don't have a card. Ah, I screwballed myself. Well, I think I'm gonna have to take the card out of this camera, but anyways. So you unfold it like that <clears throat> to turn it on. I press it once and then hold it, it's on. Then I turn on the controller, I press it once and then hold it, it's on and then I fly it up. I was going to get the drone up in the air and then use my GoPro and talk to you guys about what I'm doing. But what I'm gonna do is get a drone shot first since I only have one SD card and then we're gonna talk about what I'm doing currently. So we're throwing this C20. This is the Cloud9 by Six Cents. I can't remember the exact name of this color, but if you guys are wondering, it has some green on top. And if you look at it, if you kind of turn it, it's got a green and a purplish glow. On the side is white with green. And then on the bottom, it has just a little bit of pinkish orange. And this is a beautiful color. This crankbait dies about 20 foot. And um, I believe mine's going a little bit shallower than that. I don't have exactly the right pound line that I should be throwing on this crankbait. Usually when I throw crankbaits like this, I want to get the maximum depth out of them. So I'm usually throwing, you know, eh, let's say around 12 pound, 10 to 12 pound on a crankbait like this. Um, but if you guys are wondering what we're fishing right now, some rock right here and it's got a gradual drop off. So we're sitting in about 30 to 35 foot of water up on this rock, it's very shallow. And what I'm doing with this crankbait is I'm taking it and I'm beaming it right up on those rocks right there, okay? 
And then what that drop off's doing is, all right, it's shallow. You see this right here? And it's gonna gradually go like this. So what this crankbait is doing is digging in the bottom, kicking up all that nasty stuff on the bottom, creating a ruckus. And uh, if it goes past a fish, the fish is gonna engulf it. For some reason, something about a crankbait, that's a big rock, big rock. False alarm, false alarm. Whew. Oh my gosh. Anyways, now we're on top of the place, but that doesn't really matter. Um, as you guys can tell, look at this. This is a perfect example. Look at the bait fish right here. And that's why there's fish here, right there. Some bait fish. So what I'm really looking for right now, since I caught that fish, is those rock to clay transitions. The smaller rocky points that have those drop offs. Something that I can dig this crankbait down in and uh, where the fish are gonna be stacked up on. So, you know, those rock to clay transitions, especially this time of year, I've had a lot of good luck on them. You know, I haven't ever been able to put a ridiculous pattern on the rock to clay transitions, but I will say I have put together some big fish from it. Okay, not as many, you don't get the numbers. Um, I don't really get the best pattern from it, but usually when I do catch them, they're big fish. And something to think about is I'm throwing a crankbait this large. Look how big this thing is in my hand, guys. I'm throwing a crankbait this large for spotted bass. So we're going for the big ones. I mean, no doubt in mind. And you guys could tell there's some bait on top of that in the shallows. And this is exactly what I was talking about. So you got that flat that we're throwing up on. This flat right here is gonna gradually fall off. This is it right here. So we're gonna throw that crankbait and dig it in down, all right? We're in 16 foot of water right here. So that crankbait can go at all this right here. It's gonna hit bottom at all of this. And that's very important with the crankbait. So you're gonna be digging up all that stuff in the bottom. And that is the, listen, the most important thing, if you're gonna take anything out of this video or anything out of this little segment with the crankbait, you gotta be touching bottom, okay? You don't have to be touching bottom, but 99.9% .9 of the time, you need to be digging the bottom with the crankbait. All right, and there's something about a crankbait that just makes a bass wanna eat it. I don't care how cold it is. I don't care if the water temp's like 35, 40 degrees. For some reason, they still eat a crankbait. I have no idea why. You know, a majority of the time, you're throwing some slow moving baits, but something about a crankbait, a bass just likes to react on, and you'll catch a ton of fish on it. And look at this. I'm probably not even fishing productive water right now. I'm just talking to you guys at this point, but <laughs> there's that rocky point. As you guys can tell, there's just like a little sand, little beachy area right here. And then there's some more rock and there's some more clay. Don't even pay, a majority of the time, 99.9, .9, okay? I'm gonna leave that 0.1% to the folks that just randomly pull up to these spots and catch fish. I have never really caught fish on like a straight, like sandy area right there. Like I just haven't. Um, I've seen one smaller pattern on one of the lakes that I've been on where I've caught them on stuff like that. But rather than that, I just have not caught any fish on those like flat sandy areas. I'd really look for that rock and like stuff like that to dig into. Um, these spots right here would actually be perfect for that little shaky head that I was throwing earlier too. But uh, ever since I got that reaction bite and that was first cast on similar spots to this, it's just kind of in my head, you know, I'm like, I want to catch another crankbait fish. And uh, I don't know, who knows, we might catch one, we might not, but we're gonna keep casting. I might cast a little bit here. I've never fished this, it doesn't even look that good, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in the 